Blondie did everything mega bands do. Then a string of hits, got into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, broke up, got back together, and continued to pack venues here and around the globe. Deborah, Chris, and Clem and the band are headed to Atlantic City. Blondie will be appearing in the showroom at the Tropicana Atlantic City on May 24th. The website for everything Blondie is blondie.net. Please welcome founding member, guitarist, producer, Chris Stein. Thanks, Thanks Mark. Thanks, man. Okay. You know, Blondie charted, if, if I'm correct, charted first in Europe. Where's the band from? Oh, we're from um, Brooklyn, uh, New Jersey. A lot of various people from New Jersey. Um, it... Yeah, people would often think we were a UK band because we sort of broke over there. Absolutely. Uh, we all did down here. So your music is, is is very diverse, let's face it. I mean, when you were coming out with the hit after hit, they were all different. So who are your influences? Because you're a producer, you're a writer. Who influences you? Me, just everything. You know, all the old stuff from the 60s that I grew up with, even like the folk music scene. I really I really loved that Coen Brothers new movie, the Lewin Davis movie. was great because I, I was a teenager in the middle of all that stuff, you know. And uh, now it's just everything around. I'm like, always listening to new music. Did you watch the Hootenanny show on PBS? No, nah, the Hootenanny, that was kind of corny <laughs> for me. I was never dealt with, like, you know, I was, more, I was more like Dylan and all that stuff, you know. In the 70s, it looks like, I'm not sure you were playing a Fender Stratocaster at CBGB's. No, yeah, it's yeah, in the always, 70s. Yeah, because I loved Hendrix, you know, so there was always an homage to him. So, uh, where's that guitar now? That got probably sold when we ran out of money <gasps> at one point. There was, yeah, I wish I had it. You know, it was, I had a, <sighs> I had a '56 Maple Neck Strat, that, <sighs> and um, I would know it if I ever saw it again. It's a long story, but I, I never found out where it actually went. Yeah, because I have that photograph in my uh, studio. We have uh, lots of people playing different guitars, and I saw that and went, "Wow!" That's and that, I think that. We, there was a CBGB's. Anyway, what are you currently using now? Still now straight? I use this thing called an XOX Audio Tools, which is a carbon fiber guitar. It's all made very modern, sort of sexy looking thing, and um, weighs four pounds, which is why I really love it. Also, it's because it's carbon fiber, it's completely unaffected by humidity. I feel like you could throw it in a swimming pool and then take it out and play it. Will you have that on stage in Atlantic City? Yeah, I just play oh. that one very religiously at this point. Okay, I'm going to use my press credentials when I shoot the band. I'm going to get a great shot of oh, that. Oh, yeah, you're welcome to come check it out. You, you have to pick it up. To get, <laughs> it's, it's like playing an invisible guitar. It's so light. That's what I love about it. Cause I'm, yeah, oh, I'd love to. I'm too old to be dragging around a 12-pound less ball, you know? <laughs> I love the concept of this guitar. Okay, you've played around the world. What was your favorite venue to play? Uh, I really like playing those massive festivals, you know? The, um, you know, the more the merrier you know when we get out there with like a hundred thousand people and stuff and some of those european festivals that's always a lot of fun it's very exciting there's nothing like you know having you know forty thousand people paul going at once that's funny you said europe i was in liverpool recently and so were you and uh where'd you play in liverpool i i don't know some of those venues I, i'm i'm bad with that kind of stuff Plan okay with, but i gotta ask you a question memory he remembers all that junk <laughs> I got to ask you something though. Though you were in Liverpool, and of course everybody goes to the the, the cavern. Yeah, but did you visit the Casbah? Did you hear about the Casbah? No, was that? Oh, I didn't. Was that? Uh, yeah, Clem went. Clem and Debbie went in the house. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's where the Beatles really started, man. Yeah, it's, yeah, they it's went. A cool place. Debbie like sang in the stairwell where they they had practiced and stuff like that. <laughs> Uh, your new offering is called Ghosts of Download. It'll be available on wherever digital downloads are found. They would be available at record stores, but there's pretty much no more record stores. Yeah, well, I miss they, got, they got rough trade in Brooklyn with supporting. So. Do you remember, you're from Brooklyn, do you remember Upstairs Records? That's really familiar. You know, I was just talking about, like, you know, just like two days ago, I was talking about where I got my first single, and I got it in a card shop on Avenue J., and they just had like little, had like forty little bins, single size bins, and they would just carry the top forty records in there and then switch them as it changed, and stuff like that is so old school, it's it's long long gone. 
it is, but it was a fun time. Ghosts of Download, will this be dance, reggae, pop? What's it going to be? Is yeah, it, is all, it, all uh, of the above. There's not a lot of reggae stuff. There's more. We got, I will just say dipped into Latin influence. I've been really influenced by modern Latin or electronica the last few years. Well, of course, ever it seems to be that the, that that's the trend. I guess uh, maybe EDM yeah, still is, is hot for a right now. Big crossover from that field, you know. But I mean, some really fresh stuff there. So, actually, being from the East Coast and here, do you have memories of Atlantic City? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you know, we probably were down there early on when it was changing over. You know. The changing of the guard. Okay, so now when people come out and see this tour, they're going to hear the hits and they're going to hear some of the new stuff as well. Yeah, it all seems to integrate nicely. Yeah. And you like being out on tour? Yeah, sure. It's always fun. Yeah. <laughs> this is Chris Stein from Blondie and Deborah and he and Clem. They're coming to Atlantic City. We want you to get out and see them on the twenty fourth over at the Tropicana. Hey, this is Chris Stein from Blondie. You're listening to the Mark Berman Show. 